Hello everyone, welcome to Keep Learning at the Rate Be Creative. ABC is a right angle triangle, AD perpendicular to BC. P and Q are in centers of triangle ADB and triangle ADC. Find angle AMP. So let's see the solution. We have been given a right angle triangle ABC which is right angled at A. So this is the given triangle. From A, we are drawing the altitude AD, which is perpendicular to BC. P and Q are the in centers of triangle ADB and triangle ADC. So, since these are the in center, I am going to use the concept of in center, that is, the in centers are the intersection point of the angle bisector. So, we are going to draw certain angle bisectors which will be needed. So, if we draw these angle bisector and start marking the angles from here as 2 alpha, we are going to get the angle QAD as 45 degree minus alpha as in triangle ADC, if this angle is 2 alpha, this angle is 90, this angle comes out to be 90 minus 2 alpha due to which since AQ is an angle bisector, angle QAD remains 45 degree minus alpha. In the similar way, if we keep on marking the angles, we will have angle QDA as 45 degree as it is the bisector of or we can say QD is the bisector of angle ADC which is 90 degree. Similarly, we can mark angle PDB as 45 degree and angle PBD as 45 minus alpha. As this angle was 2 alpha, and this complete triangle ABC was right angle triangle, this angle comes out to be, that is angle ABD comes out to be 90 degree minus 2 alpha and since PB is the angle bisector, we have angle PBD as 45 minus alpha. Now you can observe that triangle AQD and triangle BPD will be similar as they have two angles as 45 minus alpha that is 45 minus alpha in this triangle and 45 degree and 45 degree. So these two triangles will be similar by angle angle criteria. So let's write down the solution now. If we have triangle ADQ similar to triangle BDP, we can say that AD upon BD will be equals to QD upon PD. By this information, we can further write that if these ratios are equal, and we can observe that angle ADB is equals to angle QDP that is equals to 90 degree. How? Let us see angle ADB as you can see AD is the altitude so it will be 90 degree and if you observe that PD is the bisector of angle ADB so this angle comes out to be 45 degree so this complete angle QDP comes out to be 90 degree. So from these two information, we can say that triangle ADB, triangle ADB will be similar to QDP, triangle QDP as we have 45 degree angle plus 45 degree angle, this complete as 90 degree, ADB was also 90 degree and these two ratios are equal, that is AD upon BD is equals to QD upon PD. So by SAS similarity criteria, these two triangles will be similar. Now, since these two triangles are similar, what we can say that the different angles which are remaining will be similar or we can say they will be equal. So here we can say that since this angle is to alpha, then we can mark angle AB C as 90 degree minus 2 alpha since triangle A, B, C was a right angle triangle. Further, we can mark angle D, A, B as 2 alpha since in triangle B, D, A we have this angle A, D, B as 90 degree and since this angle comes out to be 90 minus 2 alpha, this angle has to be 2 alpha. Now, since the two triangles were similar, we can mark angle DQP as 2 alpha 
by corresponding part of similar triangle. So this angle comes out to be 2 alpha. Now here we can say angle AQP as 45 degree minus alpha plus x. Let us observe AQP angle will be the exterior angle for triangle AQM. In triangle AQM you can see that triangle AQP is the exterior angle and this angle comes out to be sum of the interior opposite angle angle x and 45 minus alpha. So we have written angle AQP as 45 minus alpha that is this angle plus angle x that is this angle by the exterior angle property of the triangle. Now further in triangle AQD in this triangle AQD we are going to apply the angle sum property of the triangle. So if you apply this we can write angle AQD plus angle QDA plus angle ADQ that is equals to 180 degree. If we substitute the values we can write 45 degree minus alpha plus x plus 2 alpha. So here you can see that angle AQD is the sum of angle AQP plus PQD. So we know this angle is 2 alpha and we have already written AQP as 45 minus alpha plus x. The value of angle QAD, angle QAD is 45 minus alpha and angle ADQ, angle ADQ is 45 degree. So if we substitute the values and then we further calculate, we can very easily find that angle X comes out to be 45 degree. Now we have the value of angle X as 45 degree in this triangle. But we can take out further more conclusions from this observation. We can also say that angle A and Q will also be 45 degree. If you move similarly in the other part of the triangle, you can take out this conclusion also. Further, we can say that triangle MAN will be an isosceles right angle triangle. These are the different conclusions which we can draw from these calculations. This question is a very good Olympiad question. The result which we have taken out here or we can say the conclusion which we have taken out here can be used as the basic step for more difficult Olympiad questions. So if you remember these conclusion, it will be very beneficial for you to solve further question in which this type of conclusion can be used.